How's it going, everybody? I'm actually throwing up a garage sale pickups here today. I picked this stuff up yesterday. I'm going to gum chew it. I just want to see how people, you know, I put up garage sale videos of pickups in the uh, past, but I think I deleted them because nobody really watches them. But I figure maybe if I throw, I have more subs now, and, uh, maybe if I throw the gum chewing in, people will be a little more uh, interested in watching them. I did throw this up on my other channel, um, my video game channel. Uh, uh, yesterday, but I, I, was gonna, I wasn't going to put it up on here, but I'm going to give it a shot with the gum to see if people maybe enjoy that or not. So, uh, real quickly, I wanted to also thank uh, Remy, uh, Elijah, and uh, Kirk again for uh, the PayPal donations, tips, thank you, your generosity, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. I'm, I'm bad with that stuff, but thank you very much. It is uh, greatly appreciated. Um, so anyway, I want to do that, and I'm going to use some of that money for sure for props, which I actually, in this st bundle of things I got, it's not a lot, but uh, there's something I actually can use. I was like, oh, this is usable, actually, so there's that. So here's the gum. I need to get more. Alright. First, everything came in this bin. took everything out. It's a dirty bin now. Um, it's broken. It had the Sim, Sims, uh, Sim theme park disc in there as well. But everything in there was uh, $15, as you can see on here. And first thing I got, well, the big thing from it. It was a GameCube. It was a GameCube with five games. It's got a controller, I'll show you that in a sec. It's got the hookups, power pack, and AV cable. Three memory cards of five games, and the microphone. $15, great price though. It's a little, you know, it needs to be scrubbed up a little bit, but um, GameCube's a great system. I'm probably, I, my girlfriend is a Wii, and that plays cube games. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this yet. There's a controller. It's in good condition. All the buttons work. Here's the power cable and the AV cord. Three memory cards. Two uh, Mad Cats. One, one, and one four. They go by blocks, GameCube. So I don't know. I think the ones would have had 59 blocks. And this probably has over 200 then. And the third one is an Animal Crossing official one. It's got an Animal Crossing sticker. And indeed, the saves on here are Animal Crossing saves, so. Here's the uh, mic. This was used for, uh, Odama. It's like a pinball type game, and you had it speak into the mic to get the flippers or whatever to work, or maybe move your army forward or something. But... This is the thing I want to use as a prop. So, this is my first prop grab. <laughs> Didn't expect it, but I was looking at it and I'm like, I can use this. Like, maybe if I want to do like a you know, paranormal one, another one, I could use this as a microphone or something like that, you know, speaking to this or whatever. Um, or anything else, you know, a fake microphone or something like that. I'll find uses for it. Um, maybe use it uh, in one of the alien uh, videos as well. Actually, could be using that. I'll find use for this though, so that's cool. And the games. Um, I've tested three of them. And one I actually sold already, like I've said in the past. I, Get stuff from garage sales. I keep some of it to have 
and I sell stuff I don't really have interest in because that's how I get most of my money so first game is Golden Eye Rogue Agent played a little bit of this yesterday to test it I never played it before that um, it's okay it's a pretty generic shooter but it's kind of cool because you're like with Bond in the beginning <laughs> And uh, he pretty much gets killed, like, he gets crushed, like, the helicopter crashes or shot down, and, like, the thing lands on him. <laughs> I assume that was him that's dead. It's actually two discs. Um, there must be a lot of cutscenes in here that filled up that space. Well, you're a bad guy in this one. Or you become bad, you get a golden eye because your eye gets screwed up. Or you, you become the rogue agent. Apologies for that noise. Hopefully it's not too bad. Bad Boys Miami Takedown. This game is worth a million dollars. I'm just kidding. Never played it. Um, also complete. Haven't tested it yet. This game did not review well. I remember when it came out. Um, we'll see how it is. I test it. Our third game here is a classic, Resident Evil Zero. Another two disc of this case is busted up pretty good. Well, ripped up the plastic and stuff, not the case. Doesn't have its manual. Still haven't beaten this game. I always got past the train part and then into the man mansion for a little bit. And, uh, just always stopped for one, two times. I stopped once on the, the re release for Xbox One. And originally when I had it, but use Rebecca and Billy here so you switch on and off and sometimes if you leave one of them they're a bad spot they'll get a zombie will appear and just start killing them so it can be annoying it's still pretty cool I need to actually beat it at some point I'm probably gonna hold on to this one though other one I'm gonna hold on to <laughs> is uh, Simpsons hit and run Which is also complete. Um, it's a great game. I had this for the cube back in the day, and uh, I always wanted to play it again. I had that again for the cube in 2012, I believe. Never beat it. Ended up selling it. That's what I do. And uh, I actually just ordered this or tried to from Glide. It's a website you can buy phones and movies and games. And I've gotten games out there in the past. They have good prices. This one has not been sent yet. They actually sent me an email today saying it wasn't sent yet because I knew I was like, it usually takes them a little while because Glide has to send the package, the the, the mailer, the bubble mailer to the person and they ship it. It said the person got the mailer, but they haven't shipped it. So I'm surprised that actually hasn't happened to me in the past, but they don't charge you until you get the game, which is nice. So I'm gonna end up just saying screw it. I didn't, I'm not, I'm, I'm gonna wait to the mail today, but I didn't say it was shipped, so. I wanted it for the Xbox. It was a good price and everything, but I'll probably just hold on to this one. Then. Um, <laughs> got it for cheaper. Um, it's kind of annoying, but the thing with Glide is, if some of that game could have been up there for two months, and the person just forgets or gets rid of it and never like removes it or listing or whatever, however it works on Glide, and. Uh, I think I tried listening to one thing on Glide like in 2012 or something. And uh, I didn't sell it, but I just got rid of it. Maybe they didn't do that. I don't know. And the last game is the one that is sold actually, which I need to ship. Uh, Bat and Kados. Another two disc affair with a really thick manual. And you know, usually my manual is like pretty thick. It has a. Uh, it usually has the instructions in Spanish and French as well, so you get a bigger manual. This one is just all in English, so I think. Yeah, you don't, you're not seeing this in games anymore. <laughs> not even close. You're lucky if you even see a white sheet that tells you uh, access the manual in game. Um, it's usually on the back of the artwork now, but. I actually pop this in the play it just to test it and uh, and it's a card battle uh, thing I remember that when it came out because I was always interested in maybe picking it up because at the time you know after a few years it became cheap GameCube stuff now is not cheap um, 
but it's an unconventional card based RPG system. Unites all elements of gameplay with over a thousand types of Magnus cards. I don't know if you can see on the back, but the game looks great. Like the artwork is excellent. Really good looking game, man. I mean, the characters, you know, have aged at this time. You know, this is a game that came out in 2003. But man, those, the artwork in the backgrounds looks stunning. Really, really nice. But I have no interest in really getting down into playing this, but. Those pays for the uh, other stuff where it's sold at, so. On eBay, when I list stuff, I try to typically not go higher level price. I try to go at least medium or lower. Maybe that's stupid of me, but. Um, but yeah, that's uh, my first pickup. I didn't expect this one either because my girlfriend and I were coming home from the Empire State uh, Flea Market, which is in the Coliseum parking lot. I don't know, and uh, we were gonna get lunch. She was looking at a place, and she wanted to pull over to look at the menu. And we decided, oh, anyway, we're not gonna get it. So she started, she started driving up a little bit. It's funny too because this, this block is off the block that my therapist is on. But I'm like, garage, yeah, garage. <laughs> we turned down there, hop out. There's a PlayStation Two there as well for ten bucks, but I only had like eighteen bucks, so. The cube is 15. I was gonna just originally ask for the about the games, but the guy was like, "Oh, it's all 15." I was like, "Sold." Cube stuff is expensive, like, and I think Wii U stuff is gonna go the same route unless they really re-release every game on the Switch. It will like drop, and then all of a sudden, bit. But uh, hopefully, that's the start of good stuff. And hey, I got a prop out of it as well, which is cool. And that that sounds. <laughs> you know, I'll do it as like, you know, put this in my pocket or something, go around, you know. <laughs> Fake interviews or something, I don't know. <laughs> Think of something. That's what's fun about uh, ASMR. It could be anything, you know. It's fun making videos. You know, just doing things and getting random props. That's why I like doing the shady ones because I just grab weird things and use them. <laughs> But yeah, probably made this a little longer than it has to be, but uh, if people are interested in this, I can, can do, do gum chewing garage sale pickups in the future when I get, you know, stuff good enough to show. If I get like two games, I'm probably not going to bother, but I'll put it up on my other channels well though. Um, but yeah, thanks everybody for checking this out. Have a good day.